Hi everyone, my name is Kent C. Dodds and I want to show you how to join and create learning clubs so that you can learn your stuff better. And so we'll go to kentcdodds.com slash clubs that will take you to this which explains all about them. Uh, basically a learning club is a group of 10 people who are trying to go through my coursework or anything else together because they want to actually learn this stuff and remember it better. And research suggests that you do um, when, um, when you go through things together. So uh, there are a couple of benefits that you get from learning clubs um, in addition to just being able to learn together. Uh, I also have the KCD community on Discord. Many of those people have been through the same material that you're trying to go through and can help you out. And um, I also am available during my office hours um, twice weekly for an hour to answer any questions that your learning club comes up with as you're meeting and, and learning this stuff. So here's the basic idea. Uh, you want to identify some curriculum that you want to go through. And so for us, we're going to pretend that we want to learn about testing JavaScript from testingjavascript.com. So this is our learning curriculum. So the first thing that we're going to want to do after we've identified the curriculum is we're going to go to the kentcdodds.com slash discord. And this is just kind of an explanation of what the discord is with a link to join the discord. If you're not already a member, uh, then you'll need to create a discord account and then join uh, the discord. There will be a bot that will kind of onboard you into the discord community. So follow along with that bot. And then as soon as you're done with that, then you will be able to access the Discord. So I have the Discord desktop app. You can also access it just through the web app. And then you're going to look for the active clubs right here. And in the active clubs, you're going to find all of the clubs that are currently accepting um, new members. Uh, they're gearing up, ready to getting ready to go. And so here we have Mastering Next, and we have Mastering Testing JavaScript and um, Vim for VS Code will you know, have many, many more in the future. So um, here's one, the mastering testing JavaScript. So we can go to the, the form here and just make sure that everything is gonna work for us. But it looks like if we look at the time that this is happening, um, that's not gonna work for me for some one reason or another. So I'm just gonna say, no, that's, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna make my own. And uh, you could actually just copy paste this and make some modifications, but we're going to assume that maybe there wasn't a club that's like ours or, or we just wanna make our own. So the next step that you wanna do if you decide, okay, there's no club that speaks to me, like I, I can't join any existing club, so I'm gonna make my own. And from here, we're going to create our own registration form. So we'll go to this um, Google Drive folder and we have two forms in here, one, is the template and the other is the example. So this is what a learning club sign up registration form should look like. And here's a template that we can make a copy of. So that's what I'm gonna do is create this copy. So I'll make a copy and that will create it. We can go show the file location and there it is. I'm going to rename this to our um, testing gurus kcd learning club sign up there we go and now we'll open this one up and now because i made a copy i can make edits to it and so i can specify some um, what my learning goal is going to be and of course i'm going to want this uh, title of the form to be the same so i'll update that title of the form too so the learning goal for our club is going to be uh, to become total masters of testing javascript code now the learning goal is actually really important um, because it helps communicate what your intent for the club is and so you want to like really give this some thought and it can be quite a bit longer than this if you want um, just so you can kind of convince people that hey this is something that you want to be a part of so this is your opportunity to be like hey before you look at everything else i just want you to think like this is our mission it's kind of the mission statement for the club um, or the game plan uh, so then our learning curriculum for us is going to be testing javascript.com and then our special requirements. Now for anybody who joins this club, if they don't know how to like program at all, then they probably shouldn't join the club. We don't have to get that granular, but like you do have some prerequisites for people to uh, join this club. And so like for one, they're going to need to have a pro subscription or pro license to testing javascript.com. Otherwise, they won't be able to access the material. 
this is going to be pretty common uh, for the curriculum, um, unless it's like an open source thing, which is totally cool if you want to do an open source or free thing. Um, but uh, otherwise, you're pro they're probably going to need to have a license to whatever it is, uh, what other curriculum you're using. Uh, and then another requirement is maybe some experience with uh, JavaScript, Node. Uh, there's also some backend stuff in here that we want to learn in our club, so Express. And that's probably it for us. And then here, the template is telling us to delete this line. And it's just telling us that if our meetings are synchronous, meaning we are having um, actual live conversations, um, synchronous chats, um, and uh, like uh, video chats and that kind of thing. So if we're doing that, we have weekly meetings, which I do encourage. I, I recommend most clubs should probably do that. You'll learn a lot better having those kinds of that kind of accountability. Um, but if you are doing that, then you need to specify a day of the week and a time of day and a time zone. Now, um, this might also like I, I typically recommend doing a weekly meeting type of thing and just being consistent that way. But if you want, there are various other types of um, schedules that you could use. And I've got examples on the kensydots.com slash clubs. So we can say weekly on Mondays or Mondays and Thursdays, or you can just be like, totally whatever, like random days. It doesn't really matter. It's just what's important is that it's all in the schedule. So people can look at that schedule and know whether or not they will be able to attend those meetings. So if you are doing it synchronous, that's an important thing to, to really specify. If you want to do it asynchronously, then you can just say, okay, finish the, this material by this date because then we're all moving on to the next material and the, our asynchronous text conversations are going to be about this next thing. So that's what the typical schedule would be if you're uh, going for the asynchronous route where it's all just like text based uh, based type of thing. Um, okay, so for us, we're going to, I'm actually going to just copy this right here and we'll paste it right there under the schedule. And one thing that's really important is that you, um, you want to follow this template as closely as possible because the bot is going to verify that your template has been filled out correctly. And if you like change the order or anything like that, then um, the bot is going to get confused. It's not quite that smart. So um, try to keep things as close to whatever the template is at the time that you fill it, fill it out as possible. Uh, okay, so the next thing, uh, and this, creating that schedule is going to take a little bit of time um, and dedication. So um, be prepared for that. Um, so then our meetings are sync. Uh, yes, our meetings are going to be synchronous. So I'm going to say yes here because our meetings are weekly on Mondays at 3.30. Uh, and that's useful for people to look at and be like, oh, okay, so I need to make sure that I can make those meeting times. Uh, and then here's the club captain. That is whoever's creating this. So that's you if you're creating this. Uh, I'm making this one, so I'm going to say it's me, Kent C. Dodds, and my Discord username. So you can find that by opening Discord and just clicking right here. And if you click it a bunch of times, then it's going to say it's double copied, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Well, we'll just click on that, copy that, um, and put it there. That way people can find you on Discord, which is very important for the questions that they answer. So you don't need to change anything else. This is really all you need to change in the template. Uh, if you wanted to add additional questions or whatever, that's totally up to you. It's fine. Um, but this is pretty generic and, and it should be enough for most clubs. But one of the things that uh, the questions are asking is um, what or, or did you send a Discord friend invite to the club captain? Now, we'll take a little bit of a step back and we'll just say that uh, I'm filling out somebody else's form. And so if I was filling out someone else's form and I was looking at this, I'd say, OK, well, let me go up here and I'll copy this. And then I'll come over to um, my home right here. We'll click on Add Friend and we'll paste that in. Or if I wanted to add somebody else, you know, and you paste in the Discord username and then you would click on send friend request. So that's how you would add somebody else as a friend. But since we're the ones making this one, we're not going to be doing that. Other people will be doing that for us. And so with that, um, we should be good to go now that we have this form all ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to say send right here. I'm going to get that link. And you can actually pop this open in your own browser tab and take a look at it and make sure everything looks, looks OK for you. And once you are set, then you come over here, and we'll go to the Talk to Bots channel right here. And I'm going to say clubs, 
with a question mark. That's the prefix for the KCD bot. So we'll say clubs create. And then here's my form that I want to create a club for. So I'll pass that in. And then the bot is going to um, take the information from this club. It's going to post this information to our active clubs channel. Uh, and here's a direct link to that. And then it just tells us, hey, we're all set. So uh, please prepare to accept members, friend requests, and registrations and add them to a group DM. And you can learn more here. And then it also mentions that um, this posting that it posted right here is going to be automatically deleted after a week. And so if you're still looking for club members after that time, then you're going to probably want to um, just do this over again. Just clubs create, paste the link, and it will paste it again. Um, so from right here, everything's looking pretty good. If it wasn't looking good, then I could actually delete this by adding a reaction for the checkered flag. So let's do checkered flag right here. And then this will get deleted. And if uh, I can make any adjustments to my form that I want to, and then I can go back here and I'll copy all of that that I sent before. We'll do this over again and it will do it all over again um, now with the updated information. So it's, it should be pretty straightforward to getting things updated if, if something was wrong in this information. So now I'm going to pause this video and give people a chance to fill out the form, and then I'll show you what we do from there. So we'll see you in a second. Two hours later. All right, so we've already started getting some responses, and you'll find this responses tab just right above on the edit page here. And so here we have a couple of nice responses. We can verify that their goals are aligned with ours and whatever, and if they're not, then you, maybe you could send them an email and be like, I'm not sure if this is the right thing for you, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got their names and everything in here. Um, these, <laughs> you can only say yes to these, so don't, don't worry about uh, these two questions here. But they should have sent you a friend invite. Uh, and then we also have their Discord username in case they forgot and we won't need to send them a friend invite. But we're going to need this to create our group uh, DM. So that's what we're going to look at now. And I do have a friend invite in my home right here. I have that little notification. And I've got a new friend pending, so I'm going to look at that. And here I can accept this friend invite from Raphael, who is wanting to join my, uh, my club here. So awesome. Now let's create the group DM. So I'll click on new group DM here. And I'll add Amr. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, sorry. <laughs> and then Raphael right here. And we can look at anybody else who is added. We just add all of those people here. And then we create our group DM. And if somebody signs up later, you can add them after the fact. Uh, so you can add them later on if they sign up before you get things rolling. Um, but if you're actually happy with things, you're like, OK, I'm not uh, like we don't want any, any more people to join this uh, group because we're ready to get going in this uh, this learning club. Then you can come back here to the post where it posted your registration form. And you just remove this by adding a checkered flag. And then the bot will delete this and uh, within five seconds. And then it's gone, and nobody else will, uh, will try to add themselves. And it looks like we did get another. So sweet. I'll add them to our group chat as well. So here in my group DM right here, we'll add friends. Oh, I haven't gotten the friend request yet. So I'd have to either add them as a friend myself, which I can do right here, add friend, send friend request, and then we'll wait in, until they actually respond. So you can either. Hopefully, they will send a friend request to you uh, before they finish filling out the form. But if they don't, then uh, you can send that request to them. Looks like they just responded to my friend request, which is perfect. So now, because we're friends, I can add them to this group. So we'll say add. And there we go. Perfect. And there are a couple of things that we can do in here. We could say this is our testing gurus uh, group chat here. We can even change the. Um, the icon. So we could change this icon to be something really awesome, like a, I don't know, a screenshot of my desktop. I, I guess that's that's pretty awesome, right? So I'll do that. Dun, ba -da -dum. That should go to the desktop, but it doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sweet. So that's our new group icon right there. Mr. Rogers, thank you. Sweet. Cool. So you can do whatever you want to with that. This is basically a miniature server. There are lots of really cool things that you can do with this. Um, you can take a look at the member list. 
you can at mention anybody who's in here. It's basically, yeah, it's basically a server. You, you've got pinned messages and then you can do video calls. So in addition to being able to just like chat and ask questions of each other and whatever else that you're going to do, uh, you can do a video call, whether that's part of the like the schedule or not. Um, you could just set up, hey, I need to pair on this thing, anybody willing. And you can do that um, by starting a video call. So I'll do that here right now. And here I am. I'm going to just turn off my camera so I'm not in two places at once. Um, but yeah, now we can chat with each other. I can share my screen. I can do whatever. And we can chat uh, through text here as well, which I think is, is pretty rad. And then when everything's all said and done, then you can just leave this group if you want to. You leave the group, but you're you're not deleting the group for other people, so you can just jet yourself, or um, you just leave it and be friends forever and start a company together or something. That would be cool. So yeah, lots of interesting things that you can do here uh, with the Learning Club. Uh, I, I think that's pretty much it. That's all that we really need to, to talk about here. So I hope that was helpful for you. And I hope that you take advantage of the opportunities um, that learning clubs have to offer for you. Uh, find some really interesting curriculum. Don't take it by yourself. You should really, at this point, there's no reason to go through learning curriculum on your own because, first of all, it's not nearly as fun. But second of all, you won't learn as much if you go through it on your own. So give it, uh, like, take some time to create a schedule and then um, bring it up in the Learning Clubs channel uh, with, the, with the bot. Um, send that registration form to the bot, and the bot will let everybody know that your club is accepting new members, and you can make some new friends. I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye. Another thing. One of the reasons that we get the email address from the members is so that you can create a Google Calendar event or something if you have like synchronous meetings and stuff. So that's what I would recommend too is once you get your club up and running, then you know get to know everybody and everything, but um, also create a Google Calendar event or something so that everybody uh, knows when those meetings are going to happen. They can get it into their calendar and they don't miss anything. Okay, have a good time.